so much everyone for staying with us tonight on the program. Our main conversation, although we've uh, started the conversation around the lucky toll shooting, which the Amnesty International is talking about, the military has also explained its role and that they were invited. Perhaps a bit of a variation to what the state governor has said. But there is an investigation. There is a panel of judiciary of inquiry into that matter. We wait to hear what the panel says afterwards. But tonight's conversation is about what has become perhaps a major storm, which began online. Young Nigerians say in 2023, it won't be game as normal. And they are going to take their own destinies into the, in their hands. And they are also campaigning that young Nigerians should get their PVCs. One of such Nigerians is Choma Agwebu. I want to hear from her what the agitations of these Nigerians are. Choma, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We have heavyweight politicians in the studio. Uh, you as a young Nigerian, we have very experienced politicians, some of whom yourself and your friends are saying you are going to dislodge come 2023. What are the real issues here, Choma? Thank you very much, Sharon. Um, thank you so much for having me. I don't know that there's much talk about a dislodgement as there is talk about um, widening the pool of capacity, competence, and character as far as the leadership of Nigeria is concerned across all levels of governance. So this is, you know, at the presidency, um, at the Senate, so within the National Assembly, within the state houses of assembly, gubernatorial positions, but also, you know, councillorship positions and local government positions. Um, also to react very quickly to something that was said earlier, um, I do not think that what happened at Lefki toll gates can be classed as a mistake. People died. People died, people were injured. I'm very grateful to, you know, um, to this sage, you know, um, Dr. Bode George for speaking about the fact that, um, for, for recognizing what a lot of government officials have had trouble recognizing, which is the fact that young people were sitting down, singing the national anthem and holding up flags. It is the most horrific way. It is the most horrific signal um, to young Nigerians who are every day trying to be patriotic. So I do not believe that we can class it as a mistake. Crimes have been committed. People have lost their lives. As a matter of fact, you cannot look at the bullets all over the toll gate and still call this a mistake. This was an intentional, dastardly act committed by so far unknown people against Nigerian citizens. And we do not only want, you know, these judicial panels, we want an independent panel of inquiry that will look into this and prescribe very heavy sanctions within a, you know, within a reasonable amount of time so that these families can find closure. We also want bodies returned. There are several accounts of young people who were at the venue saying that bodies were carted away. Why will we not allow people bury their dead? As a matter of fact, and Mr. Body George mentioned this, he said people watch this on live stream, right? There were over 150,000 people watching this shooting as people were running. It is not something you can erase or deny. So it's not as much dislodgement. We're looking for a government in 2023 that has empathy, a government that listens, a government that will not respond to calls to end SARS and end police brutality with even more heinous brutality against citizens. That's what we're looking for in 2023. And we have the numbers to make that happen.